Hi folks, welcome back to the channel. This is Jason, Certified Financial Planner and host of Fighting Words Financial. In this video today, we're gonna to talk about a few things that might be announced on Tesla's Battery Day on September 22nd, just a few short days away. Expectations are really high since Elon Musk has promised us something that will blow our minds. All right guys, before we get started, I do need to let you know that I do hold a position in uh, Tesla. I've had one for a long time. These are just my views. This is not a recommendation to buy, sell, or hold any security. I encourage you to do your own research and come to your own conclusions. All right, let's talk about Elon Musk for a second and his motivations. Uh, I wanna talk about the enigmatic and socially awkward genius that he is, the front man for Tesla Motors. You know, he's not your typical polished, well-mannered CEO. For many famous folks in business, no matter what the enterprise they're involved in is, the business of that business for them is merely business, meaning that all they care about is increasing shareholder wealth quarter over quarter. I don't think that is the primary motivation of Elon Musk, and I don't think that is the way his brain works. I think that in terms of wealth, he's beyond looking at the next quarter and the next dollar. And I think that from the store, Elon Musk's involvement in Tesla has been a little bit different. He's made no secret that his goal with his involvement with uh, Tesla Motors has been to jumpstart the creation of a whole new global electric vehicle industry. Now, while some of this desire is of course ego driven, the rationale, as he's explained, is to reduce fossil fuel emissions and to help solve the you know, human and global problem of climate change. The rather unsexy topic of batteries, of cheaper batteries, is really just the path for electric vehicles to appeal to the mass market and not just to early adopters and wealthy virtue signalers. Keep that in mind as we discuss some of the possible things that he could be revealing on September 22nd for Tesla's battery day. In the middle of some very troubling economic times, one automaker stock has done a heck of a job making the pandemic-led stock market slump hurt a lot less. I'm talking about Tesla. While the world's traditional car makers have been hemorrhaging cash and their stock prices have been slumping, EV companies in general and Tesla stock in particular have done very, very well. Tesla stock has basically quintupled, including 74% just over the prior month, and uh, even a 34% plunge in its share price last week uh, doesn't dampen the enthusiasm of a lot of people. Uh, the Tesla's price to earnings ratio is still an extremely high 948 times earnings. This is ridiculous and it can't be justified by current revenues or by economic conditions. Electric vehicle stocks simply are hot right now and uh, Tesla is the innovator fueling that fire. For the longest time, Tesla really hasn't had any competition, but over the next five years or so, I think that the world's automakers are going to debut dozens of new electric SUVs, pickups, and sedans. There's also been a bunch of deals lately involving EV startups. You know, GM on Monday, last Monday said that they're gonna take a $2 billion stake in Nikola along with taking responsibility for the production of some of Nikola's vehicles. Read the details of that deal carefully, folks, and the accusations that were just put out by Hindenburg Research uh, before you get too excited about that deal. In fact, before getting excited about any deals lately with some of these EV makers, or these, these startups, think very carefully. Uh, there's gonna be winners and there's going to be losers in this new industry. It's basically the wild, wild west. Also last week, VW-backed QuantumScape, an EV battery startup, said that it's going to go public in a $4.3 billion reverse merger with Kensington Capital, which is another shell company just like Tortoise is. This merger, along with the Hylion Tortoise merger and a slew of others, has me concerned. The amount of companies going public via reverse merger reminds me a lot of the days back around 2010, 2011 timeframe, when there were dozens of Chinese small cap companies using reverse mergers to get listed on US exchanges and have access to US capital markets. This was all done to avoid the rather stringent accounting and reporting requirements that US regulators demand in order to have a standalone IPA. And many of these companies, these Chinese companies, turned out to be fraudulent in nature. It's not going to be all sunshine and puppies for the majority of EV companies that have gone public this year by reverse merger or plan to do the same in the near future. The most noticeable result of all this action in the EV market has been the rampant and obsessive speculation on EV stocks and not just Tesla. I think many people are gonna look back on the summer of 2020 and make comparisons to the dot-com crash of 2000. While I'm not expecting the sort of bloody froth on the water EV market crash reminiscent of the great white shark attacking a sea lion, I am expecting many of these new, uh, new to the market EV companies and EV battery makers to eventually fail. 
This has all created a moment of anxiety for investors. Uh, some are afraid that prices have just gone too far, too fast. Some investors have a clear case of FOMO and are truly afraid of an Apple iPhone moment where something changes and Tesla suddenly becomes, you know, has a runaway sales craze like Apple did and leaves everyone else playing second fiddle during Tesla's solo act. Now, Elon Musk knows all of this and knows how to seize on this anxiety. On September 22nd, he's going to appear on a live webcast for Tesla's Battery Day, a first time ever promotional event linked to the company's annual shareholder meeting at its Fremont, California factory. Now, electric vehicle batteries aren't sexy and don't normally stimulate mass anticipation, but Elon Musk has promised us that he will reveal something that will blow our minds. Every electric vehicle and electric vehicle battery nerd like me included has been thinking about his cryptic hints over the last year or so, and ever since he started putting things in writing. We've taken notice of the $14 billion cash war chest that Tesla has on hand, especially since they raised another $5 billion in an at-the-market offering that was completed in record speed earlier last month. It's going to be big. What exactly is he going to announce? Let's take a look at a few possibilities. Number one, Tesla intends to create a business feeding the electric grid. Now, I tried to say that as, as, as excited as I possibly could, but honestly, it just doesn't work for me. I don't want to talk about this. It's not that it couldn't be important. It's not that it probably couldn't be very important. And it's definitely not that it couldn't be profitable. It's just that it's boring as hell and it doesn't have anything to do with electric vehicle batteries. And I don't think it qualifies as mind blowing in any dimension. Number two, another possibility is that he will start selling his batteries and powertrain to competitors. Okay, this fits into Elon Musk's overall goal to create a global electric vehicle industry. Also, the modern electric age was really born on the back of the Tesla Roadster, which has always been dependent on their battery management technology. Notice that I said battery management technology. The battery systems that Tesla has used to get its cars on the road are radically different than any other manufacturer. And to be honest with you, it's really just a whole separate video by itself. Now this makes some sense and I've long thought that tech licensing was one path for success for Tesla and one path for success in creating an entire industry. But once again, I don't think this is really mind blowing and I think it falls short of what we can expect on September 22nd. A couple of things that other YouTubers are talking about and uh, some industry analysts are talking about is the possibility of a Tesla ride hailing service built from a leasing contract like cab companies do. You know, uh, cab companies would be feeding data back to Tesla's AI. We're looking at one day getting to level five autonomy and you know, self-driving capability. Or, you know, the other some of the other possibilities are that Tesla could be using some of that $14 billion war chest to make key acquisitions. That may be something that they're announcing that's going to blow your mind. All of these things are positive, don't get me wrong, especially the Tesla ride hailing uh, service. I think there's some real capabilities there, especially when it comes to like self-driving cars. Uh, you know, I think there's a lot of long-term potential in that, but ultimately I think these fall short of all of the hints that uh, Elon Musk has given us in terms of how mind-blowing this announcement is going to be. So finally, I think that there's really only one message that Elon Musk could deliver that could be really mind-blowing. I'm sure that he's concerned about profitability and I'm sure that he'd love to explore all of those other business possibilities that I discussed before, but based on how we know his mind works, I don't think any of those other possibilities fit the bill for Elon to call them mind blowing. My prediction is that he intends to make a dramatic announcement that the newest Teslas that roll off the assembly line will achieve cost parity with similar combustion vehicles because of a dramatic cost in batteries, and he's gonna provide the data to prove it. Hence the reason for Tesla battery day at all, he's going to announce that it won't cost buyers any more to purchase a Tesla over a gasoline driven car in the same class. If Tesla provides validating data that passes muster with experts and engineers, he's gonna rattle the entire auto industry and render many of these new EV startups irrelevant. Look folks, the holy grail of the electric vehicle industry has always been cost parity with gasoline cars. And an announcement from Elon Musk that this has been achieved would be the only thing in my mind that qualifies as truly mind blowing. It's the only thing that makes electric vehicles appealing to the mass market. So why do I think that this announcement is what Elon's gonna be making on the 22nd? Well, let's think about it. The hints have been dropping for a while. Cost parity with gasoline vehicles has been the goal from the very, very beginning. 
you know, since the Roadster, electric vehicles have been largely targeted at a niche market because of cost. You know, you know, a major region has been the cost of the battery, which can make up up to half of the price of the car and makes you know electric vehicles simply more expensive than other cars in their class. Making electric vehicles affordable has always been so important to the EV industry that it became government policy. In 2009, the Department of Energy was, was fixated on electric cars and lithium-ion batteries as the standard bearer of that new electric vehicle industry. The lithium-ion battery and its EV industries were allocated $2.4 billion in federal stimulus money that was voted on by Congress after the Great Recession. It's always been the cost of the battery and not the electric vehicle itself that was key to bringing down the cost of the, of the vehicle as a whole to the consumer. At the time, battery costs were somewhere around $1,200 per kilowatt hour or more. The presumed crossover point with combustion vehicles is about $100 per kilowatt hour. Now we've come a long way since 2009. The Department of Energy committed significant sums to funding battery research with the explicit goal of reaching $100 per kilowatt hour. Now advancement in battery technology has been incremental. Unlike advances in computer processors whose performance tends to double every 18 months or two years or so, battery efficiency has only improved by an average of seven or 8% per year. It's been really incremental. And after a decade, that incremental progress has put us within striking distance of that $100 per kilowatt hour inflection point. The battery pack cost right now is about $130 per kilowatt hour. A 30% efficiency improvement to reach $100 per kilowatt hour though is a big deal and what makes me think that Tesla might have reached it? Well, there have been a few hints out there. In May, Tesla filed a patent for a battery design that omits small pieces of metal called tabs that connect the battery ultimately to the powertrain. The Tesla design replaces one or both of the tabs with a bump or a ridge, cutting costs and increasing the cell's chemical efficiency. It seems insignificant, right? Just two little small pieces of metal called tabs. But in a tweet, Elon Musk said that this advance is way more important than it sounds. Then last year, Tesla made two very important acquisitions. First, they bought a San Diego company called Maxwell, which pioneered a new manufacturing process that reduced the space required inside of the battery and increased energy density. Then Tesla bought a company called Hybar. Uh, it's a Canadian company that has an automated battery production factory. The larger picture here is that the biggest bottleneck in Tesla's uh, growth has been that Tesla can't get batteries fast enough. Tesla had been relying on a single battery maker, Panasonic, over the last year, they branched out a bit and started buying from South Korea's LG and China's CATL, essentially all of the major players in the battery industry. But they turned out to be not enough either. That $14 billion in cash that Tesla has on hand is probably going to go towards expanding battery production in its own automated factories. Last year, Tesla filed a patent on a battery that will supposedly last a million miles in an electric car. This is enough to keep the average driver going for 76 years. Like, I mean, we would never need to buy another battery in that case. If this is really possible, not only will Tesla not really have any challenge from any rivals at this point, but it's probably going to make the internal combustion engine obsolete. And I mean obsolete on a cost basis because every motorist on the planet now can get rid of their current gasoline driven vehicle and go electric. And they don't have to do so because they desire to save the planet or the trying to virtue signal or anything like that. They can do it for the most powerful reasons at all, uh, the most powerful reason of all, which is economic reasons. People no longer have to make the calculation of choosing a combustion vehicle because they can't afford an electric one. Many people are convinced that Elon Musk will announce something else on battery day. Of course, I don't think that the other possibilities that folks talk about really seem all that revolutionary to me. I do think that Tesla plans to begin selling their proprietary battery and powertrain technology to other car makers. I do think they'll eventually have a ride hailing service and a fleet of leased vehicles feeding data to Tesla's AI with the dream of level five autonomy one day becoming a reality. I just don't think that any of those qualify as mind blowing on September 22nd, 2020. So I definitely look forward to September 22nd. I definitely look forward to seeing what Elon Musk has to say uh, about this mind blowing announcement. But I also think that he's dropped enough hints over the last year and a half, two years that this is what he's going to announce. That finally electric vehicles have reached cost parity with gasoline vehicles in, you know, in their respective classes. So once again, guys, this is all just my opinion. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.